Remember, you are stepping on the stage for the very first time as the Abbey Lee Dance Company. You're the chosen ones. You're getting to dance with Maddie. You were the kids that I selected from all of those kids. That's a big deal, a really big deal. Let's go. Oh, she's calling us down. OK, let's go. I never like to call the moms down into my studio, but time is precious. I think that both sets of moms will benefit by hearing what the other team needs to work on. So Chloe has a solo. Cameron has a solo. Kalani and Kendall have a duet. Sarah and Ava have a duet. That's a lot of steps. We have a lot to get done. Your daughter, surprisingly doing OK. Tia and Sarah, they're younger. They both have a lot of flaws. Can you be specific? Well, your child's horrific posture is one, and it's really so bad. You need to get that kid in a back brace that's underneath her jaw. I think that's a little bit harsh, don't you think? Just a little bit? <laughs> I think I if mean, you don't. I mean, she performs for you all the time. I, she's, I you think see if her you don't take class? my advice, you're going to be a really sorry mom and dad. You have a kid who's like in outer space. OK, but can we back up to Sarah for just one minute? Because all you have mentioned is her posture. You have not mentioned her technique. And we both know that she does pick up choreography no, very quickly. No, she doesn't. Absolutely, she does. Actually, no. can we get back to Tia? No. Sorry, I want your you input. I you want your please? input. That is why she is here. Well, I gave you the input about the posture. I understand And that. you slammed back at me that it was too rough. There is nothing worse than a defensive mom. And Christy over here, every time she opens her mouth with that horrible attitude, all she's doing is holding Sarah back. You give all these moms all of your time. That is what Sarah dreams of, is your time. You're the one taking up her time right now. Well, now oh, I am. But it's child. about my oh, child. Oh, and I'm going to problem. defend my child. That's the problem. It is not a problem. We're wasting time. Day day. She is conserved Shush. in a bubble because People like you, like I me. do not oh, want, you know. Know. do not want <laughs> my kids. Abby said from the very beginning, she wanted a team of perfect dancers and a team of perfect moms. And apparently, that plan's already backfiring because those moms are going at it like it's World War III. So, the Lord on, rebuke you. Oh, no. Rebuke you, honey? Yes. That's a nothing wrong. Have fun. Really? You want a better team? Yes. Have fun. I do need a team. Have fun, my mom. Is Holy dry. crap. So. Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys! Are your kids here? I didn't even realize you guys were here. What is Kathy doing here? We've got enough going on as it is. We've got two teams, numbers to work out, and in walks Kathy, the Wicked Witch of the West. I'm here because um, my girl, who's a title winner, she's here to help pass out trophies, so we're not competing today. Why do you have two teams? Get out. Why do you have two teams? Which team, may I'm I hiding. ask? Which team? Well, honey, it's hard to hide that body. Which? Get out! Oh, my god. Louder. Louder. Get out! Louder. Louder. Go! Fly away, bird. Fly away. Victor scale. Oh, oh cute dress. Thank you. You don't have any water on you, do you? No. Uh, who are you? I'm Christy with a Y. That's a match made in heaven right there. Every once in a while, we have to take the trash out. Oh, that's all, Abby. Go. That's Come old. on. No, I Come don't on. need to go. Yes, you do need don't to go. Don't touch me. Come on. Don't I'm touch not. me, because I have 911. Spatial awareness. Don't do it. Don't do it, Abby. Don't do it, Abby. Come on. I couldn't believe it that Kathy had the nerve to come in, but I wanted Abby to throw that trash on Kathy's head. Bye. I'm off shopping. Melissa. We were going to pray over the group, and we were wondering if you want to come in and join us. That's OK. Thank you. Are you, you. sure? Yeah. Well, we're going to pray over it anyway, even though you don't want us to do very well. Melissa, yes, you're honey. not allowed in there. I said so. This woman has been on my last nerve all week long. I have two teams going up against each other, and this woman is just adding fuel to the fire. Bye. Why? Why were you protecting her? Why? To run their dance because their person is she loves me. taking up their time. No. Sure, oh, you're but. wrong now. Yeah, now I'm wrong. I didn't say you were wrong. Your kids don't get a dance. Right, Abby. Right. We did. Yes. Just keep lying. In fact, I think. Uh huh. Just keep lying. Did you call me a liar? Uh huh. If the shoe fits, wear it. Look. All right. My kid is here to prove herself. 
It's Sarah, absolutely ridiculous. Your mother is pulling you out of the routine. Let's go. What you to do yep. is Bye. turn your back on your team. I warned her, Christy, keep your mouth closed and not fight with Abby so much. It's going to hurt your kid. And I think this was the last straw. She's done. She's yes, finished. Yes, she is. Goodbye. No. Don't no. cry. No. Don't cry. Your mother no. did this, not me. Uh-uh. Select ensemble. Let's go. We need to respace without Sarah. Honey, you know that I love you. I would never do anything to hurt you. But she needs to stop putting the label on your head, and I am here to defend you no matter what. Sarah isn't going anywhere, Abby. With everything that was said and done, she is still going to fight to be on your team. Let's just run the number, girls. Ready? Tia, stay back. Ava, stay on this side of Maddie. I can't believe Abby's doing this now. This is not the time to kick out anybody. <laughs> Put this on your face. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. All right, do you Where's need... the bathroom? Here, get a garbage can. Get a garbage can. I'm pretty sure Tracy's nerves kicked in with her head in her trash can. Sorry. Couldn't handle the pressure? Have a good flight back to Arizona. Oh my gosh. This is it. This is nationals. There's a lot of people gunning for us, but we've worked hard all season long towards a victory at nationals. And today, that's what we're doing. What is going on? This is Nationals. I know Abby's leaving. I don't get it. She's heading towards the ice cream shop. Towards the ice cream shop? She's heading that way. Al's saying she's going to the ice cream shop. It's a little disheartening to know that this solo is such a big deal. I mean, Presley's dreamed about this moment since she was six years old. And then you leave and you don't even watch? There's she's right there. We're going to have to speed up a little. She's zooming, dude. Next up, competing for title, Presley Annabelle. Come on, Press. Woo Press. Now lost, but she's hauling ass. Okay. Why did she go out? She went across the street. And in amongst all that people, I lost track. I couldn't keep up. Next 
up competing for title, Liliana Inside Out. Well, part of me thinks I'm gonna do great, and the other half of me thinks I'm really nervous. I mean, I'm the youngest kid on the team, and now here we are at Nationals, and I'm competing against the oldest kid on the team. I really, really want to win the national title because I want to prove to Miss Abby that you shouldn't put all your eggs in Brady's basket. We spent 16 weeks having Abby put the kids through hell and back, especially about who would get to dance at nationals. And then she's not there to watch them. going to verbally assault me at a dance competition. Preach theater etiquette to my kids. Put your phone away. My only choice was to remove myself from a situation that could escalate to something more. I'm putting a stop to this. Really hasn't talked with this old I'm sorry that your teacher wasn't there to support you. The kids were amazing. They were. They looked good. I'm so sorry that it was like that. Oh my god, you guys. Abby's assistant just texted a picture at the police station. What? What? Like, I think she went to the police station. Oh my station. gosh, I see it. Shut up. OK, I want to know what happened. Somebody came up and said something to her, and she left, and she's filing a police report. Yay! Yay! Oh, so good. I think you guys went out there and did a fantastic job today. But the moms had to cheer extra hard because Abby left. Abby missed all the solos. Is Miss right. Abby going to be back for the group dance? I don't know, right now she's filing a police report. So maybe when she's done filing that, maybe she'll come back. Hey guys, hey guys. Oh, look who's back. I will not be screamed at, I will not be yelled at. She got in my face, spit in my face. I said, that's it, I'm not doing this anymore. This is crossing a line. I had to go to the police station and fill out a report to keep that other dance studio away from my team. I will do whatever it takes to help the ALDC win that national title. Paige, what is all that mess? That's a mess. The fifth time she's done it wrong? You're worried about all of Paige's dances? I, I mean, seriously, a solo, a duet, a group, an audition. You want Paige in these numbers, right? I don't think it's normal to have a solo duet yeah, and a group. I mean, I like someone else should have had either the solo or the well, duet to be fair to the group, but she'll be fine. I don't think Abby would give it to her if she didn't think she could do it. Or do you think she's setting her up to fail? I think Abby thinks that Paige isn't going to be able to handle four dances this week. I just want Paige to go out there and do these dances and prove to her, I can do this. She has a solo and a duet to do it, and Kelly's not pulling it. She's not pulling it. She's not going to cry. The kid's not going to run off the stage. She's going to go. She's going to do the solo. It's going to be good. We're all going to have fun. All right, let's get Paige in here and find out what's going on. What's the deal with the solo? It's time for the last solo rehearsal of the day, and it's Paige. I told you in Pyramid that you were doing a solo. Everybody clapped. Now, you don't want to do the dance. Your mother doesn't want you to do the dance. I don't know what's going on. I've heard some grumblings about Kelly not being happy that Paige has a new solo. Well, Kelly's never really happy, is she? Every single week we go to a competition and everybody learns a new dance. In a new solo, if you forget what to do, if you mess up, nobody knows but your teachers. Kelly would rather Paige do one of her old solos that she can't remember and never did well to begin with. So what's the point? Let her do something that's new, simple, easy, 
and she looks gorgeous doing it. Let Paige go out on stage and shine, Kelly. You just have to tell me right now, are we doing a new number that you're doing on Sunday, or are you not? I said I was doing an old number. I just gave Paige a golden opportunity, but Paige would rather play it safe. Big mistake, kid. Big. I said that I would rather to get up, get loud, and get tough because I've practiced it and it's better. I don't feel like Paige should have to go up on stage and do a new solo. If she's the only one picked to do a new solo and she's not comfortable with it, I think she should be able to do an old one, just like everybody else is. You do whatever you want to do, Peanut. OK? If that's what you want to do, that's what you do. for the annual dance concert is fast approaching. And some of these kids have never performed for that many people in their life. This is going to be a big day. OK, girls, thank you. Dismissed, you want to exit stage left. Prop stage right. This group routine is a mess. They have a lot of cleaning to do. But right now, there's another issue I have to take care of. Paige was chosen at Pyramid to do a new solo she would prefer not to do a new solo. So I'm offering it to somebody else. Would anybody else like to do a new number? Wait, did Abby just pull Paige's solo from this recital? Did someone raise her hand? Maddie, you have your survivor number that you learned? Abby really wants Maddie to do her solo survivor. She's never done it in Pittsburgh, and Abby wants some new numbers. So if Paige doesn't want to do a new solo, Maddie can. I love oh, how you volunteered her. You notice whenever you asked people, nobody volunteered. She did not volunteer, you volunteered her. When any one of these kids were asked to do a new solo, none of them chose to. That's all I have to say. Right, they didn't. So let's do it again. I'm going to ask again, and then you say, me, I'll do Survivor. Would anyone like to take the place and do a solo? Anybody? Maddie, what? Never in 40 years of being in the Abby Lee Dance Company has anyone been giving a solo the day of the Ready? recital. You're Ever. out. You're out. Go Call on. the police. Get I'm her done. out of here. This whole thing just isn't fair. If Abby wants to play her games, that's fine. But me and my girls are leaving. Please, get her out of take here. me. Get Let's go. Out of Let's this go. Auditorium. Let's go. You're finished. You're out. Come Thank on. you. Hey. Hey. I like your outfit. Thank you. I like yours too. You look cute. We're in LA. The girls have their first casting call, and I think we all are really excited. This is a big deal. <laughs> Is that Abby screaming about a parking spot? What did he just say? Oh my god. I can't believe she's doing this right in front of the casting agency. Is she seriously losing her mind? LA is too much. It's too much for Abby to handle. Hi, Miss Abby. Hi, Hi. Abby. Do you have any words of wisdom for the girls? It's our first time together since we've been in LA. Yeah. We haven't seen you as a group for several days, and it's absolutely disgraceful. You do realize your mother's calling me disgraceful, and I'm your teacher. She needs to learn to keep her damn mouth shut. You know what? The moment someone says anything to you, you go back and you strike at a, a child. I so didn't strike I, I, at I, a I child. Mean, yes, you Use did. your words. No. Thank you. Let's this is what I didn't want to happen. We have to get these girls inside before we ruin the whole audition for the girls. Why don't you guys go work on your scripts with each other? Hey, girls. Hey. How are you doing? Good. Well, I'm John Barber, my casting director. I'm going to bring you into the room for a bit, OK? Nice to meet you. This is a huge opportunity for the girls to network. This meeting is what people in the industry call a general. 
It's how new actors pitch themselves to agencies to get on their must-hire list for the future. Just so you know a little bit about us, we do commercials, we do music videos, we did the Taylor Swift Shake It Off. I'm so excited. I really want to be a singer and become a pop star. Maybe if I do well today, that dream might come true. Right, I guess this is our waiting room. They gave us a viewing room. Oh, they're there. I think Mia's pretty solid. I don't think she gets nervous. Well, they shouldn't have a manager rattling down, acting as if it's normal to go across country and not be seen for two days with no explanation. That's not normal. Well, really, the craziness started before Abby even walked up to us. You realize that. Something crazy was going on behind us. Yeah. I think she's been fired up for two days. That doesn't help her. Doesn't help her image. I'm not sure she's worried about her image. This is Nia. Hi. Hi, Nia. I'm Lisa. Do you have any questions before we get started, or you would like to just jump right into it? I'll just jump right into Great. it. Great. I'm standing right out there on that pink mark. Hey there. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? No. What well, I, uh, I just want to say that I am really impressed with your presentation in biology today. Really? Wow, thanks. She's really She's good. so good. Like, Ben would ever have a crush on you. Why would you? How could you? I never did anything to you. How could I be so stupid? Just, just get away from me. OK. She did not take, she, she took the character in a different direction, which was her mother. Sometimes it's better to go off the script, and, mm -hmm. you know? And sometimes it's those choices that actually get the job the person who does it the way everyone else does not do it. Did Abby really just go there? Abby ruined Nia's audition because I held Abby accountable. And it's absolutely cruel. Nia was good. And Abby is not going to give her any affirmation. That's pretty much, Jill, what we asked her before we even made this commitment to come across country. Is it going to be any different? And apparently not. There's a second affirmative for you. You go out and network yourself and your child, and you do what's best for you. I want Nia to be successful. I want her to achieve her dream of becoming a star, but at what cost? I'm not a puppet. I'm not going to be a yes person, but I'm sure not going to stand here and let you say these horrendous things about any of these kids. It's wrong. What you just did was foul, Abby. Foul. What? You taking away a raw opportunity. So if that makes you feel good, so be it. Trying to protect your child and make her not look like a complete fool. That's Abby, what I'm trying to do. I, I don't think she looks like a complete fool. I really don't. Was Am I the only person who? I get it. Oh, OK. And we're all acting like this is normal. Everyone else when it wants to act like that's normal behavior, so be it. Go back and look at your pictures of your personality when you were a baby, before she made the mini-me. A mini-me, that's a compliment. Oh. It's and a, you think a that. compliment, absolutely. There's nothing that she needs to be ashamed of her mother for. I am very congenial. For one time only, you all get to help out with the costumes. Since we are doing seven completely different solos this weekend, I don't have time to worry about costumes. This is your chance to go for that Tony, Christy. You're going to come to me, show me what you have, and I can veto it, or I can accept it. So Abby's final little surprise, the pyramid, is that the moms are responsible for the costumes this week. And there are to be no recycled costumes and no costumes that she has seen before. I don't want to see anything from any other studios. I want to see you come up with something original. Moms, I'm going to dismiss you at this time. Girls, spread apart, start warming up. Make a costume. I mean, it's great that I have to make two. Girls, you guys don't have old costumes. Your kids have been dancing. We're not allowed to use years. them again. You're not allowed to use any of your costumes. I still, I have, I have tons of costumes. I know, but you're not allowed to use any of them. She, she said. She said, none. None. Trust me. I have costumes. She's never seen on stage or on my daughter or anybody else. She's not gonna know. She'll know. Sneaky Jill is telling us that. Oh, I just might use one of Kendall's old costumes because Abby hasn't seen it yet. Well, that's not playing by the rules. Do you see how it worked yeah, out for you to speak studio. up about a special part? You got booted yeah, down the end of the, the pyramid. The now you're going to go against the costume thing? I st and I you came in with your boots on. You know what? Exactly. I want to know why you got to wear your boots and I had to take mine off. Well, you know what? I'm kind of tired of it. Rules. 
and I actually understand what's going on here, and I won't let that happen again, where my actions are going to affect Well, that's my all child. that happens here. You better go to a well, new studio. Are, yeah, no, exactly. You better keep here. yourself, like, in a bubble, because <laughs> anything you do wrong. She's one of those people who, every time something happens, she writes it into a contract. Why do you think we're still here? We, in our contract, it says, because our kids want a title, if we left, the, it would cost us $100,000 in cash. Within seven days, or she would blackball us in the world of dance. She's crazy. Yeah. Well, flat I, out crazy. <laughs> when you sign up at the Abby Lee Dance Company, she makes you sign a contract. And the contract basically says that she owns you for a year. Yeah, but I don't know. How much oh, she's does she have? Oh, she's got a lot of connections. I know kids yes. have left here. Yes, and she's blackballed them all. She's ruined them. Okay, and you guys couldn't have told me this before I came in here? You wanted to come? Oh, yeah, probably. Let me see, that's beautiful. Did you make that? Um. Yes, that's an old no, costume. I you didn't say make it's that. old. I didn't say I made it. But did she wear it at her other studio? No. You just had that hanging in your closet. Well, maybe it wasn't mine. Maddie, Maddie, maybe it was someone else's that hair. lent it to Maddie. me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Jill, let me see her costume. Okay, okay. this is the white costume. Okay. You did not whip that up last night. Oh, I never said I whipped it up last night. You didn't say go home and whip up. I'm not Becky Homecky. I don't whip up costumes. Where did that costume come from? Because it's obviously not pieces of something you pulled together. I just wanted to this use pieces that you had at home and come up with something at the last minute. This is what I came up with. Well, whose is that, may I ask? This is Kendall's costume. You have not seen her in this costume. Somebody somewhere has Kendall's seen her in it. Kendall's costume. It's Kendall's costume now. It's not one of her old costumes. I'm trying to teach the children a lesson. They don't need a $500 costume to win. You have something at home, make it it's work. It's not about winning. It's That's... about what I want to put my daughter in. No, it's about what I want to put your daughter Whipped in. Whipped up Go costume. look at what you have, figure it out, put it on the kid. That That's looks what I like did. That's a what I did. Gown. Brooke went out there in a $30 leotard and, and she danced did great. beautifully. I can't believe you guys wouldn't back me up on this. Because, because we're did. following the rules. You're not. She's I'm going like, out there I'm in the like gymnasium flower. in her costume that I brought for her. You're looking me in the eye. This Has is her she costume. ever worn that costume in a competition or a stage or a show or a showcase or a performance or a school gig or anything else? Yes but you haven't seen her in it. None of you have seen her in it. I don't care if somebody else in the world did. What are you doing? I'm, got, I'm leaving. You don't want me here. I'll just make no. it easier for we you. We want you here. We want you to play by the rules. Whatever. Reason, Jill. Whatever. I'll pack my bags this. and go home right now. Is that Would that make you guys all really happy? No, that would not make me happy. Because that's and what you know I'm doing. I'm sick of this It's going to be. Done. It's going to be your job that loses out. Good it's your for daughter. you. Yeah, you know what? You're exactly right. It's supposed to be about the kids. Let her wear the damn costume. The mom's assignment was grab a few pieces together, take some shorts and a crop top, trim them up a little bit, and make a costume. She had to go above and beyond and try to outdo everyone. Well, you know what? It backfired on her. Please do this for Kendall. She's going to be so brokenhearted. I'm not putting her in a piece of costume. Oh, I'm not doing it. And but I'm not going to let like, oh, them and Abby win over this. I'm not going to let them. Don't worry about them, because they did this to me, OK? They don't do that to me anymore. I'm really shocked that Jill flipped out at Abby the way she did, and I'm sure she's going to regret it. I just think that she was at her wit's end, and she doesn't understand the way our studio runs. Where's Abby, girls? Did you see her? Gia, what does she do? Well, she's not dancing, because I'm not putting her in a piece of that Abby wants me to put her in. At this point, I'm done. I'm not going to stick around and let them belittle me and belittle my daughter over a stinking costume. I'm packing my stuff up, and I'm leaving. They won't have to deal with me anymore. OK, I love Mom, you. Can you okay. Go I love you. Go OK, Maddie, go with her. Kendall, OK, come here, she, babe. She can dress? Come on. Get your jacket and your boots. Let's go. Get her, Maddie, help her. That's going to be OK, Kendall. Why are you going to make her leave? She's with her friends. Think why? about her friends. Do you really need to ask why? I think you know why. You we will go to the auditorium, and we will support our friends, like our friends support us. Let's go. We come all this way, and these witches won't get off my back. Kendall's not dancing. End of story. Not having it. No. When you're older, you will understand that you need to stand up for what you think is right. And what they are doing to us right now is not right. I know you want to dance, honey. We came all this way for you to dance. I want you to dance, too. But it's not happening. Let's go.
do a homework assignment. I wanted you to write about JoJo. Positive reasons why she should be a member of the Abby Lee Dance Company. Then I asked you to, on the flip side, write down reasons she should not be part of the Abby Lee Dance Company. Week after week, JoJo proves that she is a tough cookie, but I think she needs somebody to be on her. So think how much more JoJo would improve. If she hears it from her peers, maybe it will have an impact. Mackenzie, would you like to share with us? Come on up here. The first reason is sometimes she's very loud. Sometimes she's off in the group dances, and sometimes she's a little too crazy. All right, what are the good things? She's kind, and she puts a lot of hard work into our dances. Okay. You had some timing issues, sometimes a little too loud, but she's very dedicated and hardworking. You take opportunities from people who have been here longer. Okay, and then the good things. You're nice and a team player. You lip sync when you're on stage. You respect us. Good word, respect. You're still getting used to picking up in two days, and obviously you're crazy in public. I'm really impressed how JoJo is taking this all in. It's not easy, and I respect the fact that JoJo's standing tall and taking it like a champ, just like Nia does. So, JoJo, you've wanted a permanent spot on this team since you got to Pittsburgh, but you're lucky to even be a guest here at the ALDC. However, there's a lot that makes you an ALDC dancer. You're a performer, and you're sassy. So, I'm gonna give you this jacket. This is sacred, and this is for the rest of this season. This is not for all eternity, okay? You're welcome. Okay. Abby, I promise no trouble, no lawsuits, no craziness, no nothing. We are doing a new group routine this weekend, and everybody's in it, the entire cast. It is called Where Have All the Children Gone? This is a routine about children who become missing. You've all seen the children's faces on the mount cartons. It's contemporary, it's mature, and it is very dark. You have to be great actresses to pull it off, and they're all in white like they're angels. I don't want any discrepancies. I don't want any opinions. Where Have All the Children Gone is one of those routines that's simple and clean, but it tells a story. It makes you think. And that's what people are looking for in an overall high score winning number. This is a big regionals for us, and I want them to do something that nobody's ever seen before. I want to change it up. And I don't think any of the moms would dare say anything to me. Moms, I'm going to go ahead and dismiss you now. We have lots of work to do. Girls, up. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All the children must be around have evacuated. Where have all the children gone? Where have all the children gone is a very haunting dark piece of music. When you're at a competition, the dancers that everybody's talking about the next day or the pieces are the ones that told the story, the kids that could act as well as dance, the choreographers that made you think about something, that made you feel something. And that's what Where Have All the Children Gone does to people. The original concept is about children that have gone missing. So the kids on the Mount Carton, the kids in the news every night. But I put a little edge to it as to maybe there was some bullying involved and was causing other children to commit suicide. That's what the story is about. We hope they're hiding. To be honest, I don't really know what the meaning of where have all the children gone, but Miss Abby said we're giving the message to parents that this has still been happening and you should be safe, um, but I really like it. It's really cool and creepy and awesome. Where have all the children gone? I love dark stuff because 
I do dark stuff, and I even did a missing child thing, but I don't think that this is age appropriate for Mackenzie and Vivi at all. I'm, I'm sorry. Surprised. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm, I'm not happy about that at all. It is a very disturbing song. My kids are fine with it being dark music. I, I don't even think they really listen to the words, of whether the costume or the music. I mean, it's just, that's the art of it. I really worry that this number may be too heavy for girls this age. It might be too depressing, not only for the audience, but for the judges as well. To me, it's about child abduction. It's a message that I know for Nia makes her very sad, and I'm a little uncomfortable with it. Come in close. Listen to me. All right, you're dancing. You're doing steps. You're trying to listen to the words. You're not interpreting the story correctly. And this is very serious because maybe people in the audience have had a child that's gone missing. So you're gonna touch somebody's heart. So this has to be a very serious routine. And right now, you're just doing the steps. And we need to get past that and we need to perform. Do you two understand? It's very serious. I am an artist and when it comes to complicated choreography, the children who are the dancers, they need to become artists as well. And I wanna teach them to convey the story with their emotional execution as well as their dance technique. You ran, you ran, and you stop, and you're like, oh, give me a hand, give me a fist. Ugh. Where Have All the Children Gone is a very haunting, dark piece of music, and I love to use stuff like that. At some competitions, you'll see a lot of dark things, and at others, it's your typical upbeat, fun, tap, jazz, whatever. So I try to get my kids to do everything. Ugh. Like you're trying to grasp on to stay alive. We already know that they can jump and kick and leap and turn. That's not in question. But can they convey this story to the audience? A story which some of them don't even understand. Paige, figure out where you're supposed to be. I think Where Have All the Children Gone could win because it's a good number. And we normally don't do scary numbers that, like that. We normally do more numbers with face and personality. Where have all the children gone? Up! Inside. Today's group number is Where Have All the Children Gone? It is a dark topic that has to do with children that have gone missing. Choreographically, there is an edginess to it, and it's very subtle. So I don't even know if the judges will see all of that happening. Flesh of their sons and daughters I think artistically, it's a beautiful piece. But yeah. it's really somber to see a child sh choking themselves. I am always a big believer that Abby always has a strategy in mind that she doesn't share with everybody else. She's the expert. I'm not, and that's what we're paying her to do, and I have to trust that she knows what she's doing. It's jarring. I don't know, it's just plain creepy. It is a little creepy. But I think some of those death. It's d death, and it's violent. I'm not really sure about where have all the children gone. It's really dark. I mean, we have little kids on stage handling an issue that's that's too dark for most adults. I don't think Abby wants to hear anything we have to say. No, please. If we tell her that we're disturbed, she'll stabby chokey us. I know exactly. It's a heavy topic. I, I know that. But I'm trying to challenge them to emotionally execute the concept along with their dancing. Hey, please welcome to the stage, where have all the children gone? The creaking silence of age echoes through the streets. Sounds like old wooden floors under heavy feet. All of the children once running around have evacuated. Or maybe they just
although disturbing, I'm glad my child was a part of that. It really did stretch her as a dancer. I don't think that anyone would say it's too heavy and too mature. Now, maybe some of the moms thought that, but once again, I'm not out to please the moms. I'm out to please the judges. We're going to find out the 11 of the highest score for you today. We were at Nationals. This will be your 11 and under Victory Cup winner. Ladies and gentlemen, the highest score for our team of the day went to... Entry number 250, where have all the children gone? Congratulations. I questioned that dance from the beginning, but Abby was right. She pulled it off. Our girls did qualify for nationals, so we are going to nationals. There were over 280 acts, and they were first. The highest scoring number in the entire competition. I knew this would be a risk, but it was definitely a risk I was willing to take. It made everybody stop and pay attention to my dancers. I'm Abby Lee Miller. That's what I do. Congratulations! Aren't you guys excited? Oh, I'm so proud of all of you. The girls won the top award that you can win, and they deserved it. Things are looking really good for nationals. Now I have a better idea of what we're going to take. We just need to figure out how we're going to get that swing there. But this isn't the end. It's only the beginning. We have a long road before we get to nationals. All right. I think, can you go to the mall now? Yes, I think you can go to the mall now. They think things are tough now, but just wait. Things are about to get a lot tougher. Let's go.